Check this out. With just one click, you can enable the efficiency mode in Windows 11 on multiple background processes and apps. So before we talk about this app, we need to talk about the efficiency mode in Windows 11. So efficiency mode in Windows 11 is a feature which limits the resources used by the background processes or apps that are running in the background. So by enabling the efficiency mode, you can improve the overall system performance. Plus if you're using laptop, it will improve the battery life. Your battery will live a little bit longer. So that's the efficiency mode in Windows 11. But there is a problem. Not all apps and background processes actually support efficiency mode. Only few apps actually support efficiency mode and most of them are from Microsoft. So if I turn this off right now, so you can see there are not that many apps that have efficiency mode enabled. So basically to enable the efficiency mode, the app needs to support efficiency mode. Otherwise you won't be able to use the efficiency mode and yeah, that's, that's that. So this app called Energy Star X can actually enable efficiency mode even if app doesn't have efficiency mode uh, support. This is a free and open source program. You can also go to the official GitHub page. This is actually a fork and GUI for another free and open source project called Energy Stars. You don't actually have to do anything. Just download this app and there is this button called pause. I don't know why there isn't a unpause button button just changes the color that's all okay right now it's actually paused and uh, i'm gonna click on pause button again and it will change the color and now you can see a lot of the background processes are actually in efficiency mode now you can see here a lot of them if you go to the settings of this app uh, you can change some settings here run at startup throttle all background processes when plugged in and the most important ones edit processes whitelist and blacklist processes in whitelist will not be throttled and processes in blacklist will be throttled even when device is plugged in you can simply click on edit button and here you can actually see which apps do not get throttled or do not get the efficiency mode. Okay, it's like a power saving mode for specific app and background processes. I think that's the simplest way to understand this because there is throttle, there is efficiency mode and all that going on. So basically what you need to understand here that when you see this efficiency mode next to any app in task manager, that means that app is in power saving mode. So it will use less resources, less CPU, less RAM. So basically in whitelist, uh, if you don't want any specific app to not get throttled or to not have the power saving mode or efficiency mode, you put that app in here by doing simply, this is really simple. Let's say, for example, this, this app called Reut Client Okay, I don't want this to get throttled. So I'm gonna put that there. Okay, just exe, just by going into like, uh, right click on any background processes, properties, and you'll see the exe, just copy it and paste it into the whitelist. All right, save it. I think I, I'm gonna have to turn this on, off. Yeah, here you can see, now it's not in uh, efficiency mode. So basically it can use all the resources and run at full maximum power, okay? But I don't want that to happen. I'm gonna edit and uh, remove this simply because I want that thing to be in power saving mode. Okay, once I do that, I just pause, unpause, just to see the uh, effects. And here you can see it's already is in power saving mode. Yeah, efficiency mode is enabled just like that. Now you can also do the same thing with uh, the blacklist. If you have any app that you want to have in efficiency mode list or power saving mode list, you can put them here by doing the same thing. You go there, right click properties, and copy the exe file name and boom, you're done. It actually does everything automatically. It will automatically 
uh, find all the apps that needs to be you know throttled in the background so that's that there are a few limitations if you go to the official website and go to the section known limitations if you're using mouse related software such as this software you may want to have this as a whitelist so basically uh, you know anything that you want to use at its full potential any app or any program you might want to add it to whitelist when any app that is in efficiency mode those apps will perform poorly they are basically in power saving mode so they are basically restricted from using a lot of system resources and you can actually go to the log and now if you open any app that has uh, the power efficiency mode enabled let me close this chrome browser here so you know chrome has the efficiency mode enabled now i'm gonna open this all right now you can see it will boost the chrome when you launch this whenever you're trying to use any app that has the efficiency mode enabled it will automatically boost that app it will open that app quickly when you stop using that it will automatically start throttling that i can actually give you guys a example here so let's say right now i'm not touching the chrome okay now it says uh, throttle chrome okay but but as soon as i click on this it will boost the chrome it will automatically boost the performance of that app now if i click outside of the chrome and put it out of focus it's gonna throttle chrome so it's kind of cool uh and this actually uses the microsoft's you know uh, efficiency mode api to do all these and uh, this is kind of cool if you have a lot of background processes and you want to have the power saving mode on specific apps this is kind of cool this is probably the best way to do it i don't think i need to explain this too much you guys are very smart i know and one more thing before i leave you guys in peace you might be wondering why isn't everything in efficiency mode again as i said this is like a power saving mode anything that is in efficiency mode will get throttled and will get restricted from using a lot of system resources so if you enable the efficiency mode on system background processes or apps your system might crash you can see here actually system processes do not get throttled currently there are some assumptions that non-user processes know what they are doing so basically you know uh, system processes can manage themselves automatically so it's good if you have a lot of apps installed on your system and more apps and games you install in your system more background processes are there to run on your system so on that case you know this app can automatically detect those user installed background processes and apps and then it can put them into power saving mode or basically in efficiency mode that's it hope you enjoyed it actually i forgot to mention this <laughs> i think i did yeah so i found out about this app from this guy who commented in my last video thank you so much for this this is actually a great app and yeah that's it for this one hope you enjoyed it but if you still have any questions or you want to discuss something you can always do the comment and we can have some chit chat in the comment section too that's it. I'll see you in the next one. Take care of yourself and have fun. Bye-bye.